So I think Electrama is the show of strength for Atmanirbhar Bharat. Uh, when we say that we are the largest uh, TND exhibition in the world, uh, that is the capability that we are. Uh, and you know, one of the things we will try and do differently is try and uh, see how we engage with the startup uh, community much stronger in this version of Electrama. Uh, Welcome to uh, Mojapur Industry. So could you uh, share more information about the forthcoming edition and how different it's going to be from the previous editions and what are the focal points, etc.? You know, Electrama has always grown from strength to strength. And this time, uh, Electrama is pretty much the culmination of energy transition. So if you look at the way electrical industry is almost kind of encompassing the energy transition space, so the newer aspect, if I may, would be more on the EV space, the storage space, and the green hydrogen. So if I may add, Shubhaji, you know, so you know, overall Electrama, if I just look at the history, with every edition, we have raised the bar on how we look at uh, this event. And, you know, it's already the largest event on the electrical space globally. Uh, but like Vipul said, this time our focus is uh, to... Uh, move the direction a little bit from just electricity to energy because for India as a country and for all of us as members here of the industry, energy is where the next 10-15 years game will be played. Uh, when you talk about electricity as well as energy, transition to energy, and there are lots of things happening on data transition as well as the, the transition happening on electricity to electronics. So how EMI is going to play a key role in that and how different in uh, this Electrama 23 is going to be uh, in that particular context? You know, we have been a little bit more dependent on the power electronic side than uh, on the semiconductors uh, for from imports. So I think uh, with the latest uh, PLI scheme and also the kind of R&D innovation happening in India, this is something that will be uh, an opportunity and for the local manufacturers, uh, also for the global players to partner with us and, you know, take this journey together. That's how I, we see the electronic space. Uh, one point, obviously, is that uh, it is also something that we have to look at from uh, the sustainability and the supply chain logistics perspective. So the focus is going to be in terms of enhancing our own capabilities for electronics, data management, cyber security, uh, and becoming self-reliant on these aspects. So uh, we will bring to the exhibitors and visitors what are the upcoming technologies in this space. And we'll have some exhibitors from abroad as well as local ones who are investing in India uh, to make this happen in terms of component and microprocessor manufacturing, etc. So, so if you look at it, there are three big shifts that are happening in the country and globally, if you look at it. One is this whole uh, urban lifestyle and digital lifestyle. The second is clean energy, right? And third is uh, though sectoral, but a very big uh, element, which is uh, the whole e-mobility space, where you know the whole automotive industry in the last two years has made a big delta on how they think about uh, you know uh, their future. And suddenly uh, the switch has been made that EV is now here, and that's going to be the future. Now, if you look at these three trends. Uh, unlike earlier, these are all trends where what technology will succeed is not very clear. Uh, people are still experimenting and piloting and hence as India, where we have a very large market for all these three, uh, we have a unique opportunity to build on uh, uh, this transition globally to not just make India self-sufficient, uh, but also to become a larger global player, uh, export driven player in some of these technologies, if you get it right, because we have to scale and we are starting at almost the same time as the rest of the world on these three transitions. The thing is, India is setting new records as well as new targets almost every day in the e-mobility, like you were saying, as well as on uh, renewable energy front, especially on the solar energy. And again, alternate fuels like uh, methanol is uh, now talk of the town now. So uh, uh, can we expect a kind of separate... Uh, exhibit for all these uh, sectors or segments in the forthcoming uh, electrum. When we say e-technext, right? So that is the whole pavilion that talks about 
all the upcoming technologies and innovation in this space. So definitely you will see, you know, hydrogen fuel cells, methane, uh, you know, if you look at EV, uh, if you look at even the solar, there is a lot of uh, new technologies that have come. Storage, uh, storage is now not only lithium. So we expect to see a lot of those technologies. And you know, one of the things we will try and do differently is try and uh, see how we engage with the startup uh, community much stronger in this version of Elekrama because I think a lot of the research, new thinking, new ideas are in that domain. Some of them may succeed, some of them may not. But I think to bring that vibrancy into the uh, exhibition uh, and the event will be one of those things that I would uh, assume we will uh, shape in the coming year. Are you going to witness the kind of incubators like IITs uh, there, uh, any kind of collaborations you are going to make? So we already have some MOUs in place, right? With like the NASCOM center, uh, then uh, Thai uh, Global. So these are the MOUs and also we work with a lot of local universities. Uh, so we will be encouraging those startups to come and showcase. And uh, there are a lot of, in fact, uh, a lot of startup space is also working on the energy conservation and building automation. So that is also something that uh, will be showcased people in terms of a b2b you are typically exhibitions are for uh, selling products and technology right i think with this electrama we will also become an investment destination uh, so we will attract uh, investment and that will also help uh, make in india going forward so could you be very specific about that that what kind of investment you are going to attract and uh, do you have any figure in mind also? The what kind of investment I can tell you, not how much. So if you are looking at storage or if you are looking at net zero commitments or the renewables. So we see that there is a lot of interest in the foreign investment where they see uh, India as a in country which not only is aligned to the global goals in terms of uh, net zero and uh, decarbonization, but also in terms of the other value systems. I mean, we are a largest democracy and we have those value systems with which we work. So I think we will attract that kind of capital. So uh, booking a stall and that also getting a desired location in Ilekrama is always exciting, It's uh, isn't it? So uh, for this particular time, uh, by when we can expect the stall booking is going to start and what will be the process of booking a stall if you could just give us a brief information about that as well. So uh, the process, if I may, is just like an airline uh, seat booking kind of uh, a process and we will open that uh, by maybe end of April once we have first input in terms of what people are looking for uh, this year and it's important for us because there's a member association so we want people to say look this is the space we are looking for this year and we design the uh, layouts accordingly. Why uh, exhibitors as well as visitors from across the world visit or attend you know, or participate in Electrama 2023? Why it is so important or must at any event for everyone of us? The power of uh, the scale that we are, we are able to bring together in Electrama is unparalleled globally. So I think one, we are able to uh, uh, showcase uh, everything that is happening. Second, we have uh, hopefully we have uh, been able to stay contemporary and futuristic in how we uh, design these events uh, historically and going forward. And third, I think for uh, a lot of the visitors, uh, it's a great, uh, 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 you know, uh, place to come and see everything at once uh, shot. And for the industry, for us to just connect, you know, otherwise we are so busy competing and uh, uh, at times, uh, you know, uh, in our own businesses that I think the networking that it brings together in the industry is fantastic. So I think it's a, it's a great uh, platform from all perspectives. And that's what uh, I think people thrive to see. I would say that from domestic as well as international, in fact, people visit globally overseas and they have been repeatedly coming for Elekrama. A lot of times they come and say that, yeah, I, have, I know the products, I know a lot of people and I have come to just meet everybody. So I think it's a huge people to people connect platform and uh, def definitely for the local domestic visitors but also for international so this is one place where you know if you go and spend couple days you revive and meet and greet uh, most of your industry contacts and i think that's uh, business is business but people aspect is also 
uh, very important and that's what really brings the life uh, to electrama exactly sir thank you so much sure. sir. it was great uh, talking yeah. to you for more updates please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon